going to go ahead and get started and want to welcome everyone to our One Albuquerque Awards. Uh, you know, this is something that, again, we actually wanted to do more of during these tough times because there are so many people stepping up. And so today we're going to talk about a specific group of people who have really been stepping up. And uh, also, just so you know, joining me here uh, at City Hall is Alan Armijo, who helps put this together, our Director of Public Affairs. And so I want to mention that, you know, through uh, COVID-19, it's brought a lot of challenges to our community. And there's been an outpouring of support for each other in a number of different ways. And one of our shining stars has reemerged in that our senior affairs department. And so I'm very glad to the director, Anna Sanchez, is joining us. And we're going to allow for uh, folks, if technology works, we're going to let folks uh, say a few words, including Anna here in just a moment. But I want you to know that the city of Albuquerque is trying to do everything we can uh, to help our most vulnerable populations. And of course, one of those is our seniors. And so uh, the numbers are incredible what we've done. 80,000 meals roughly today during this time, uh, feeding our seniors, uh, many on site, many through delivery. I actually, a long story, I had to run home literally and I ran past a senior meal delivery truck uh, delivering a meal to someone's house. It was awesome to see. But uh, today we're going to highlight a few folks who've been involved in this process. But I also want to mention, you know, our senior affairs department is something very special in Albuquerque and in the country. We're one of the few cities that has a robust senior affairs department that really provides an alternative to uh, nursing homes and so forth and assisted living. And this has long been a tradition. It's part of our culture in New Mexico. And it's uh, we see that represented in our city government. The fact that even city government recognizes that if we can provide a fun place for seniors to be during the day and some good meals, they can stay home and then be with their families and their other caregivers uh, and not have to be sort of institutionalized. So this is a great thing and we've been able to keep it up even during uh, the time of Corona. So today we're giving awards uh, to Patrick Maestas, uh, Angie Marentas, Missy uh, Pochiro, Daphne Flores, Joel Mahoney and Fermin Gallegos. And so these are folks, I've met most of you when I was out at the North Valley Center. And just for uh, folks who are listening to give you a feel for at our senior centers, including uh, North Valley, uh, you've got this amazing drive up window kind of process that's happening in the parking lot. And it's faster than McDonald's, we like to say. Uh, but everyone is checking in too. It's amazing how much even that little two minute conversation means to these folks. We're checking in on each other's families, asking how they're doing, and sometimes even connecting them with some other services in addition to handing over uh, that delicious meal. And our senior affairs board, by the way, they are really good meals. Not to knock other government provided meals, uh, but ours often include hometown favorites like basole and green chili and all sorts of things that we're used to. And so we're so, help, we're so grateful for everyone who's been providing that and again, providing that needed caregiver link in many ways, um, especially psychologically to our senior, uh, senior community. So we have certificates for all of you. I'm gonna hold up one of them, our one Albuquerque certificates, and uh, we're gonna be bringing those to you. And as a special treat, I don't know if Anna knows this yet, but you know, we had some extra senior games medals. Check that out. And so Anna might even have others. So these are really hard to give out to other departments. So when Senior Affairs does something good, we're going to make the best out of these beautiful medals. So you earn emphasis on honorary, a uh, fun Senior Games medal too. So with that, let me, I think, first hand it over to uh, our Director of Senior Affairs, Anna Sanchez. Anna. Uh-oh, and you're muted. This happens to me all the time. Okay, can you hear me now? We can. Great, thank you. I appreciate it, Mayor. Really, this is a very um, timely for our department. As you mentioned, we've already done over 80,000 meals since this pandemic took, um, took a hold of our community, and I couldn't be more proud of the staff. I tell them when I see them, um, and also just to mention that this is staff that is led by a wonderful center manager, Sandra Lucero, um, and then of course, it just takes a team. I mean, we have people from our sports and fitness um, helping out here at the recreation um, division. We really are making sure that everybody is 
working together and really making sure that our seniors are taken care of. So I couldn't be more proud of them at this time. And thank you so much for this recognition of them. Awesome. Well, very good. And it's good to see a lot of folks. Nikki, hello, by the way. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, I think if any of the awardees want to share a few words, uh, now is a good time. And then I also know that we're, we'll ask you to stick on after if folks want to talk to some of our media partners. So, uh, but any, any words, uh, comments from any of our awardees? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say anything, Angie? Or Missy? No? Missy? Or who's the one? Oh, Patrick. Would you like? Okay. They said the Wardies, so. Well, I'd like to say something. I would like to just thank the entire staff because they have been a great team player. So I very very fortunate to have them here and that's why it's been such a success and it just um, makes me really happy that we give we can make someone smile on a daily basis and give them what they what they need at this time so that's yeah I would just like to say thank you very much to all the staff awesome thank you for sharing that Antoinette and absolutely good I and I love seeing so the crew you know, on the, in the, over down at the center, all sitting socially distanced apart and everything. Uh, great job. And it's good to see you guys, even if it's just over, over videos. By the way, when I'm looking this way, it's because the screen's over there. So I'm looking at you and waving, even though I'm looking not at the camera. But anyway, all right. So great work, everybody. Congratulations. And uh, with that, I think we're going to wrap it up other than Jesse's going to coordinate maybe some uh, additional interviews. So thank you so much. And hey, good news, possibly, we'll see. Senior fair is going to be tough. But, uh, you know, at least in June, we're hoping to open up in some form, maybe a little bit sooner. So stay tuned. Thanks so much and hang in there and be healthy. Take care. Yeah.